Hi, welcome to Emily's Paper Caper. This is Stampin' Sunday. Today I'm gonna stamp some Christmas card backgrounds using one of these stamping foams from Simon Hurley Create. I got these for my birthday and I thought they would be fun to experiment with. I pulled out some different distress inks that I thought would make nice Christmas backgrounds. I have candied apple and lucky clover, fired brick, and pine needles. I have trimmed a bunch of card stocks to be four inches by five and a quarter. These will fit perfectly on the front of an A2 card. And we're just gonna experiment and have some fun with these foam blocks. I've never used a foam block before, so this is a bit of a play and an experiment for me. I watched a couple of videos to get some tips and kind of a general understanding of how these foam blocks work. I will link to those videos down in the description if you want to check them out. Simon did some great videos that made it seem like these were going to be easy to play with. We will first need to heat up the foam and then we'll press it into something and I thought it would be fun to do some random things here like maybe some paper clips would make an interesting background and we will stamp several of those off and then I thought we could try a stencil as well to see how that works. This is a really old heat tool but it still works so it's supposed to heat up in 10 to 15 seconds. It's going to be a little loud, so I'll do this off camera. Interesting. You can see how the paper clips have created a pattern in the background. Let's add some inks. Simon suggested a spritz of water. So let's try our first background. Very cool. That is fun. Since we still have some ink here, let's spritz it again and we will use that ink. A little bit lighter, interesting. Let's try even more paper clips. We'll heat it up again. This time, let's just try reds. I've got fired brick and candied apple.
the little spritz. Very interesting. While we have those nice paper clips, let's try some with green. Oh, I like that. Bit of a spritz. Use more of that ink. I find that quite interesting and I think it'll make nice backgrounds for Christmas cards. I'm just using a wet wipe to clean this off. Next week I'll come and show some cards with these backgrounds, but this week I thought it would be fun just to experiment and play with creating backgrounds. We're going to try this next. subtle. I think it should still be pretty. We'll try green again. This time I'm just going to go with Lucky Clover. Stampin' Sunday is hosted by Thelma Hall and Craftin' by the Pond. Be sure to hop over to their channels and check out what they're up to. Oh, that's interesting. That'll be pretty. I'm not sure I love it, but I think for a background, since some of it will be covered up, I think it'll work. Let's see if I can heat this up and get a better impression in the stencil. This time I'm standing up and I'm pushing a little harder to see if I can get a deeper impression through that stencil. It's all just an experiment at this point, isn't it? Just for fun. Maybe, maybe. Let's try pine needle this time.
nice. Just use that last bit of ink. It's pretty. It's pretty. I've got some lace here. And I think this will be an interesting experiment. I want to try to use the edges here. Interesting. Well, this is going to be... Hmm. Don't know what to expect here. I didn't spritz it that time. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? is quite interesting. Okay, the green was pine needle and now I'm going to go in with fired brick. Just an interesting effect, isn't it? An interesting background. Let's do another one. And then I have one other idea I want to try. Last idea is to try pressing it into some sequins. See what kind of pattern some scattered sequins might make. Well, let's try red this time. Candied apple. Hmm. If you've ever used the Simon Hurley foam, stamping foam, let me know if you have any techniques that you like to use. And, and ooh, look at that. That'll be a nice background. Let's do one more. Use up some of that ink. I'd love to hear 
how you like to use this. This is my first time using it, and I think it's a lot of fun to play with. It's, it's nice too. Clean this off and try a couple in green. I think I have two white backgrounds left. Keep watching to the end and I'll show you how all the backgrounds look now. Here are the completed backgrounds. Don't forget to come back next week to see how these look on actual Christmas cards. I have some Christmas images colored and fussy cut, and I plan to create completed cards using these backgrounds. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting. <laughs>